fight fans what's going on i just uh got a chance to catch a future hall of famer and a former uh undisputed uh champion rory jones uh fight that he fought friday the uh, 17th against bobby gunn uh roy uh the, the fight is actually stopped at the beginning of the eighth round so roy uh, gets a tko let me start up uh, with the pros first the first pro that I notice is is that Roy uh, still has decent speed for somebody 48 years old. Uh, his speed is definitely not what it was in the 90s or even the early or I even say uh, 2010. But he still did have pretty decent speed for a man that is two years from uh, from being 50 years old. Uh, his foot movement was actually still pretty good. Uh, so all in all, Roy didn't look. Of course, I didn't expect him to look like he used to, but he didn't look. He didn't look. He he didn't look too bad. He didn't look. Uh, like I said, he didn't look overly good, but he didn't look absolutely horrible. Uh, now one of the things on the uh, on the the video that I saw, people were making comments about it, and uh, one gentleman actually made a comment and said that uh, Roy is starting to get that dad body, which. Uh, yeah, you could tell that Roy looks just a little, little bit softer, but that comes uh, with age, as we all know. Guys who are in their teenage years or in their 20s or their early 30s who are still ripped uh, like crazy are not usually as ripped when they're uh, 50, you know, uh, or 50 plus years old. I thought uh, all in all, Roy's body still looked pretty good. I mean, if you remember back in 2003 when Roy went up to heavyweight, you know, when he put on, we weren't used to seeing him with that weight and his body still looked good but it, it it was it was solid and tight but it still looked a little padded because he put on that extra weight so i didn't think that he that his body wise looked that bad now let's talk about the cons uh bobby gunn I don't know if he's been barrel knuckle fighting uh, the last few years, but this is his first boxing match in three years and two months. That's how long it's been since he's been in the square circle. And that fight was against uh, a Roy Jones uh, conqueror, Glenn Johnson. So he comes in uh, from what at least what I know is a three year, two month layoff and he fights uh, the former great and Jones. That's pretty much it for that fight. Uh, Roy, not too much more to say. Roy uh, still had pretty good hand speed. Uh, it was a nice combination, that straight right and then the left hook that uh, stunned uh, Bobby. And uh, I did notice that Roy uh, laid back and he didn't want to hurt him. Uh, I don't know if that was due to a... Uh, uh, you know, lack of, you know, I mean, not a lack uh, due to Roy had respect for him or could just be the fact that Roy is getting older and he just doesn't see the need to hurt a dude who he really was beating all seven rounds. Uh, they want the, uh, uh, they named some guy after the fight that they said called Roy out and want to fight Roy next, which I don't know who that guy is, but uh, I will put a guy's name out there who I think that uh, Roy probably could fight since it seems that he is uh, consistent on to continue to fight. And uh, I did like the fact that Roy said that he's not looking to fight any of the top guys. I was very happy to hear him say that. If Roy wants to keep fighting guys who are at or right below his level, so be it. But I'm going to throw a name out there who are, of a guy who I think Roy could fight. Uh, Gia Kobe Frag um, Mini. And I hope I said his name right. If you all know him, he was a former WBC champ. And the reason why I throw his name out there is this. He was a, uh, these reasons. He was a former champ. Uh, he fought and lost to my guy, uh, David Hay, which was 11 years ago. And this was, the, is, this is the key. He's 47 years old. This is the type of fight that Roy should take. Roy could go over to Italy, where he's from, and uh, maybe make a decent amount of money. And uh, and Roy could take that belt over there that uh, he was wearing in the ring that he seemed to be uh, pretty proud of. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for that. Roy Jones uh, wins. Beats Bobby Gunn by TKO. Catch you next time.